a busy week for Idaho State University sports. I'm Matt Gittens and welcome in to this week's Bengal Review. We are in between seasons, football, soccer, and volleyball, each in the middle of their conference seasons, while basketball just beginning their exhibition play. We begin this week with football. Head coach Mike Kramer's team finally broke that road losing streak with a big victory at Northern Colorado on Saturday. It's on the road once again as they travel to the Rose City to take on Portland State. A pretty extraordinary defense uh, in all conference games. They're the number one defense in the conference in conference games only. So uh, pretty demanding front, a very solid core of defenders in the back end that know how to line up and play. So maybe our toughest challenge is defense offensively in the conference this season. Well, we just continue to try and find a, a way to get our safeties to not be such a yo-yo. And as long as those two safeties, Cody Sorensen and Tyson Manu, and play us at the top of their game, and defensively we're pretty pretty solid. A lot of that is uh, to be seen because they pressure us very, very hard in the front, and they try to get up close and personal to our wide receivers on the outside. Without Brock Malcolm, it's starting to catch up to us a little bit at wideout, so uh, got to try to get our wide receiver core which is still relatively young to mature a little bit. Volleyball remains on top of the Big Sky standings after two road victories this past week at Eastern Washington and the University of Idaho. They continue the road trip this week, traveling to NAU and SUU. Those are the two teams right behind them in the Southern Division standing. Just serving and passing, it's not simple. You know, we emphasize serving and passing really well every day for every game, and so we just focus on that. and been working out for us. Just to be consistent, you know, consistent passing and hitting and not making too many errors, which is always important. Um, yeah, just play as a team, more ball at a time and just be consistent. It's a simple formula for the Bengals soccer team. Win and you're in. Anything less than that at Weber State and the season will come to a close. Love it. First thing I said in weights this morning, I said, what better place to be than where we are right now? And um, you know, I think if you look at this team and you look at this season, nothing has come easy for us. And we've worked really, really hard for everything that we've gotten. Um, you know, and I think that, sure, we could have scored a lot of goals and we could have kept the ball out of the back of the net, but for whatever reason, we didn't. So we're in this situation and we're in a position where, you know, we're, we're standing at the bottom of the hill and we're ready to climb it. And, um, you know, that's what this, again, that's what this team has done all year. So. We're extremely excited for the game. Cross country heads to the Big Sky Championship this week. Head coach Brian Jansen talks about his team. Well, the women are really running well. They're packing up uh, super at the start, and they really started to put things together last week at Santa Clara. Uh, men are still struggling a little bit with that concept, but I think pretty much at the moment we're healthy. Um, you know, you hope no one gets sick this week, but uh, I, I think we're going to do okay. Well, it's kind of the beginning of the season, too, because it all comes down to one day. If you have a good meet here, you've had a good meet. There are no wins and losses, really, for us that anyone cares about through the season. But I think we've made good progress. They're really good kids. As for the home games this week, both the men and women's basketball teams play right here on the Idaho Central Credit Union Court inside Reed Gym. Exhibition matches. The men get it started on Thursday against Great Falls. Head coach Bill Evans tells me it's an exciting year for Bengal basketball. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, this group's worked really, really hard in the summer and, you know, to get better as players and, and to get in the weight room and get bigger and stronger. And, uh, you know, they've continued to work hard, you know, this, this fall and in practice. So I, I'm excited to see where we're at. I really am. I want to see them do the things that, you know, they're capable of doing and staying away from the things that they're not. I want to see them play really, really hard and, and, and playing together. I think if you can do those things, you play hard and you play together, you have a chance to win. Lots of new faces for the Bengals women's basketball team. They get their first exhibition game right here inside Reed Gym Saturday against Western New Mexico. Head coach Seton Sobolewski says that the lots of new faces provide lots of new opportunities for his team. I, th I think we're really looking forward to playing somebody else. You know, we had, we had a good scrimmage last weekend, but uh, we're kind of Tired of beating each other up, we're ready to play against somebody else. Oh, absolutely. We want to see improvement. We want to see improvement. We want to see us running our offense better and executing our defense better and taking steps towards, you know, Big Sky Conference play. 
Once again, let's take a look at that schedule for this week in Bengal sports. Men's basketball at Reed Gym Thursday night at 7.05. Volleyball on the road at Northern Arizona. Soccer faces their must-win matchup Friday afternoon in Ogden. Saturday is a full day as cross-country runs at the Big Sky Championship. And women's basketball welcomes Western New Mexico to Reed Gym at 2 p.m. The weekend concludes as football takes on Portland State Saturday evening, 5.35 Mountain Time. And volleyball travels to Cedar City for a match with the T-Birds that at 7. Reporting with your Bengal Review all over the campus of Idaho State University, I'm Matt Gittins.